हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम टू लेसन नंबर सिक्स दिस इज़ द टेंथ वीडियो वी आर डिस्कसिंग इंडियन एग्रीकल्चर फ्रेंड्स दिस इज़ अ लिटिल इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इंडियन एग्रीकल्चर यू नो दैट इन द मेन्स एग्जामिनेशन लॉट ऑफ क्वेश्चन कम अराउंड एग्रीकल्चर अबाउट एग्रीकल्चर एंड यू नो दैट दैट्स वाई वी आर डिवोटिंग सो मेनी लेसन्स टू इट Uh, in this video we will we will uh, focus on integrated farming systems ifs which is a very very crucial topic for indian agriculture and uh, many uh, uh, you know questions uh, you can see that they appear in the mains examination uh, are related to integrated farming systems okay so let us study uh, this uh, topic uh in a very clear way uh through this video and also in maybe another one or two videos we will cover this topic and we'll see how uh, ifs uh, first of all what ifs means and how it helps for sustainable agriculture in our country okay so ifs uh, basically enhances sustainability productivity and resilience for small and marginal farmers facing land fragmentation and climate risks so see first of all we have to understand what is the importance of integrated farming systems obviously we will we will learn what is the meaning of ifs what is integrated farming systems but to introduce you let me first tell you that it is a system by which we can increase the sustainability of agriculture we can increase the productivity in agriculture and we can also increase the resilience of agriculture especially for smf small and marginal farmers who are having small patch of land land holding because of land fragmentation okay and climate risks now let us dive deep into what is the meaning and what does it entail for the indian farmers so let us first study about the concepts and components of the ifs so ifs is a holistic synergistic approach combining various agricultural enterprises on a single farm okay so basically you have multiple activities going on on a single farm right so that is called multiple agricultural enterprises meaning activities it is a holistic approach meaning it combines various components into one place synergistic approach senior synergistic meaning that one activity helps the second activity second activity helps the third activity third activity in turn helps the first activity so they are synergistically related they help each other okay so that is called synergistic approach the aim is to uh have resource recycling risk diversification and sustainable livelihood so this is the main aim of uh integrated farming system what are the core components of ifs uh the first is crops okay so what all different activities are being done in ifs so the first component is crops you can grow crops cereals pulses vegetables fruits second one is livestock farming so you can have dairy uh, poultry goatry piggery etc fisheries is also included pond based aquaculture agroforestry trees plus crops for income soil health then apiculture sericulture mushroom cultivation all these things are also possible biogas units can also be done vermicomposting so many different things can be done in one place you can imagine that this is a patch of land of a farmer so maybe there is one farm pond here so in this farm pond there are fishes then there is a poultry farm here are you right and there is a farm here so you can grow some crops here now what do you, here here there are poultry so what they do is that you know the the droppings of this poultry is used as a feed for this fishes then whatever is the uh, uh, water available here can be used for agriculture also then the residue of this this farm can be used as um, uh, you know uh, feed fodder for these uh, animals then there can be agroforestry there can be trees here you know by which they can earn another income and also have some protection so these are the various things that can be done through the integrated farming it is called integrated farming because it is done at one location in an integrated way so understand that ifs is not equal to mixed farming so it is not about just having multiple 
activities at one place but it emphasizes on a planned synergy synergy is very very important synergy means one activity helps the other second helps the third third helps the fourth fourth helps the first and again you know second can also help the fourth fourth can also help the first or you know like that so first can directly help the third so there is a synergy you know raw material or the waste product of one activity is the raw material input for the second activity and you know and so on so that is synergy and nutrient energy flow among subsystems so there is a nutrient flow energy flow material flow from one system to the another so that is ifs it is not just about having multiple activities but having synergy between them so synergy word is very very important now why ifs is needed in india because we have shrinking land holdings the size of land is declining average land holding in india is less than 1.1 hectare as per the nss 77th round which was recently held then declining soil fertility due to monocropping and high external input so soil fertility is also declining because we are having monocropping meaning growing only one crop for years together climate change erratic rainfall heat waves floods there is a risk prone farming so if one crop fails then the entire livelihood will fail so we should have a diversified uh, you know agriculture unemployment especially off season in rain fed area so the, when there is no monsoon season so in most of the rain fed areas the farmers will not do anything so if they have integrated farming they can be engaged in one activity or the other then input cost inflation stagnant farm incomes over dependence on chemical farming so these are some of the important reasons why ifs is needed in our country now uh, uh, ifs uh, enables climate resilient agriculture and better input output efficiency right so uh, this is uh, this is a reason why uh, we should adopt ifs we should encourage ifs in our country what are the benefits of ifs so the first is obviously the economic benefit financial benefit ifs provides multiple income sources it hedges against crop failure lower cost due to internal recycling so manure fodder so i told you that if there are animals then the um, you know then the waste product of the animals can be used as manure for the crops and the crops in turn can be used as fodder for the animals then if there is a poultry farm the poultry droppings uh, basically the 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 fecal droppings of the uh, of, of the um, uh, birds there can be used as a feed for fishes if you have a fish pond also so there is value addition right dairy fish etc environmental benefits are also there so soil enrichment via leguminous crops compost efficient water use you can uh, you know also promote organic farming through this mulching drip in horticulture carbon sequestration increases through agroforestry waste to resource loop example from dung to biogas biogas to slurry so this is uh, you know a kind of synergistic approach where we can have a lot of environmental benefits also then there are social benefits so year round employment can be given women can be employed including for women promotes local knowledge indigenous practices strengthens rural resilience and food security so these are all the various benefits from the social point of view so when you talk about the benefits you have to look from economic environment and social uh, perspectives then what is the uh, uh, you know relevance for small and marginal farmers in india what is the relevance of ifs because as we know that ifs is something which can uh, increase the income of the farmers which can give them some kind of safety net if the rain fails then it can also give them alternative and uh, uh, employment during the rain uh, you know during the uh, non rainy seasons so why is it important what is the relevance so relevant for small and marginal farmer in india as it maximizes farm productivity ensures year round income reduces risks improves sustainability and uses farm resources more efficiently right because there is synergy it acts as a resilience building strategy that integrates crops with livestock poultry fishery agroforestry and for biogas units for optimum utilization of available resources so your resource utilization efficiency rue also increases tremendously so that within a small patch of land with small resource with less resources more income can be generated and it can be sustainable also because you are using less chemical fertilizers here then the next one is your enhanced productivity per unit area right so uh, per unit area uh, productivity increases because you are having multiple activities multiple outputs from the same land crops plus dairy plus poultry plus fisheries right example 1 hectare 
IFS model in Tamil Nadu, which has a model of rice plus poultry plus fish plus azola, it showed that the returns increased by two times compared to monocropping. So this is a true example, practical example from Tamil Nadu. Okay, so two times the returns increased by following this IFS model of rice, poultry, fish and azola. Then diversified income and risk mitigation, market fluctuations of prices, crop failure or paste attack in one component doesn't ruin the total income. So there is a safety net for the farmers and there is year round employment and income. Also for the women, it, they can be employed. Low cost resource recycling, cow dung can be used for biogas and fertilizer production, manure production, poultry litter can be used as fish feed and straw which is basically the uh, you know the dried uh, part of the plant after harvest harvesting it can be used as a compost which can further uh, increase the soil health right so again very very efficient way of using resources climate resilience cushion against crop failure due to erratic weather microclimate creation and carbon sequestration improves soil water retention again if you are doing agroforestry uh, basically planting of trees in your farmland to protect your farm to also have some income out of it it also helps with carbon sequestration and also it reduces soil erosion so water retention soil retention is also better with agroforestry soil health and input reduction reduces dip, reduce dependence on chemical fertilizers legume crop integration example pulses improves nitrogen fixation so this is a kind of positive allelopathy also right for the uh, for, for the farming agroforestry it can be uh, beneficial for long term carbon uh, and controls erosion also this i have already told you then women and youth employment uh, backyard poultry mushroom goat tree kitchen gardening are women friendly youth engagement through tech linked micro enterprises so you know employment can also be generated meaningful employment can be generated Efficient land use, obviously this we know, vertical and horizontal space use, example, uh, you know, trellised uh, gourds and goat tree below, so uh, that is possible, so you can have, vertically you can have, uh, you know, the goat farming and below that you can have goat tree, so pond, uh, pond burns with vegetables, poultry above fish tanks, 360 degree use of space so these are some of the models if you want you can watch some uh, videos also about this how how they actually do it so that you know it can be more visual to you uh, i have personally seen this in the field uh, when i go around um, uh, in my district uh, people uh, have started doing this integrated farming and it is it is really very very um, you know exciting and also i am very pleasantly surprised to see that farmers are doing so much of innovation in our country right so they are using space very efficiently water use efficiency resource use efficiency has increased and it has actually increased the incomes of the farmers so it has a lot of economic benefits at the same time there are a lot of social benefits also so you know that if people are meaningfully engaged they will be less uh, you know busy with doing other activities right other activities which are not productive so uh, there, there are a lot of social benefits also so we'll continue discussing about the um, about the ifs in the next video also thank you